Good morning. Hey everybody. It's Friday, February 26, 2021. Welcome to Daily Devotions. This is our Lenten Daily Devotion Time with Mount Horeb Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Joanna Gregg and Pastor Hill and I have been uh, following the um, Places of the Passion Lenten Devotion with you. I hope you're doing well today. And we are on page seven, if you have it. If you don't have it, open your Bible to uh, the Gospel of Matthew because that's what we are going to be continuing to dwell in. So Matthew chapter two, verse one is, is the suggested reference today. Let me read that and as I do, I hope that you can hear something that jumps out to you anew and um, have a question and also uh, wonder what God is saying to us through this. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. That's where verse one ends. So you want me to stop there? I guess I'll stop there. But it is a familiar story, so uh, it does, um, we cannot help but but remember the, the rest of the context. But I'll stop there just because of the way that what jumped out to me this morning was, was the phrase, the title, King of the Jews. Um, I, I learned, and maybe you have too, that King of the Jews is what Herod, this specific Herod that they're referring to in this passage um, was appointed by Rome and not to get in too deep because well I don't know all the details but I do know that Rome appointed Herod. Herod was Jewish in practice but not considered by the Pharisees to be um, well, truly Jewish. And that is a light summarization of, of what I know about this King Herod. Um, there were others, and I know that this King Herod was also a little bit, um, how can you put it nicely, right? Um, a little delusional and um, unhealthily jealous of a king. For power can do that to even the best of us. Uh, so that is what I think of today, that Herod was literally, his title was king of Judea, king of the Jews. And that these wise men, as we know, come onto the scene to say, hey, where is the king of the Jews? We heard about him and the wise men are from very far away. They are astro astronomers who um, uh, I would suppose that uh, Herod would be extra um, jealous to hear from them that they heard about a new king in town for that puts his power and his authority into question. And um, that is what I imagine just in that first verse just that these um, insecurities that that Herod shared with, well, that Herod was a victim of, I mean, I guess that's a, that's a interesting way to put it, isn't it? Herod as a victim of his society in the way that his, uh, the structure of authorities and powers put him in this place and then his, perhaps his mental health and his instability um, with his family also sent him over the edge. Um, how can I turn that around into good news? Well, I think that we are used to hearing that we know the, who the true king is, that Jesus the Christ is the true king of, well, as it's referring to of the Jews, um, but I think we can turn to our lives. What might God be saying to us? We can turn to our, our own lives and our own perceptions and um, wonder what power 
we might be, might be holding on to that gives us um, a false sense of security. And how do you know a false sense of security? It's when it, that um, power gets between you and your relationship with God. Um, so the the devotional writer for today kind of kind of says says what I said a little bit and also that um, there's a little joke story there's a little funny story in there about um, the answer to the question from a five-year-old what, what gifts did the magi bring to Jesus and they said gold Frankensteins and Smurfs so that's there's a funny funny joke for your day I hope that you have a good one and that you heard you heard a new and um, interesting and thought-provoking word today if you feel so moved go to chapter 2 and read of Matthew and read the rest of the story and read it while we're not in the in the epiphany and Christmas season to see what new um, light and perspective you can shed on uh, the idea of power, authority, and kingship. All right. Um, so I won't hold you up for any longer. Have a great day. Let us close with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and thank you for the gifts that you bring us. Um, they are more than three and they are uh, more plentiful than we can count. Uh, thank you for the story of the wise men, for the, the story of people who are Gentiles coming to see the king, the true king. Thank you for all the gifts you give us today and please support love and comfort those among us who are sick who are ailing in any way and who uh, need a high five and a hug please be with us all um help us to go forth into our weekend into our rest of our friday and to be your light and to be your um children who witness to your kingship. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me. Happy Friday. Have a good one. See you Sunday.